Welcome to Father Ed Hustady Gymnasium. My name is Jim Montgomery. I think we might have a little speaker sitting there with me. I'm the athletic director here at the high school. It's my privilege tonight to recognize our three senior members of our girls' basketball team. They're not playing their last game, but they're playing their last regular season home game. Our first senior tonight is Alyssa Grither. <laughs> Alyssa is the daughter of Brian and Juanita Grither. Alyssa belongs to the Saints Peter and Paul Parish. She is a member of the National Honor Society, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Students for Life, and the Student Activities Board. Alyssa has played volleyball, soccer, and basketball all four years of her high school career. Alyssa's favorite memory for basketball was the bus ride to Brussels when they had to take a ferry to get there. Alyssa will be attending SWIT next year, where she will continue playing volleyball at the collegiate level. Congratulations, Alyssa. Our next senior is Autumn Rainey. Autumn is the daughter of Doug and Diane Rainey. Autumn has been the president of the National Army Society and is actively involved in Students for Life, Student Ambassadors, Student Activities Board, and of course, basketball. Autumn plans to attend St. Louis University and majored in Investigative and Medical Sciences. Autumn's favorite memory is attending the Rollins Summer Tournament and binding with her teammates. Congratulations, Autumn. <laughs> and our last senior is Sarah Ann Steiner. Sarah Ann is the daughter of Brian and Nanny Steinle. She belongs to the St. Patrick Parish in Ruma. Sarah Ann is a member of SCOPE, Hope for Tomorrow, Scholar Bowl, Critique Club, Student Ambassadors, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, the Student Activities Board, Model UN, Jazz Band, Students for Life, and Secretary of the National Honor Society. She has played basketball, volleyball, and softball all four years. Sarah Ann's favorite moment was she and Emma Schmidt winning nearly every round of trivia with the team over winter break. Sarah Ann is unsure of where she will be attending college, but she plans on majoring in business management. Congratulations, Sarah Ann. And congratulations to all of our seniors. basketball team. We are going to leave the live stream going, let you enjoy the music of the Jabot Pep Band under the direction of Mr. Scott Ruppel.
Welcome to Father Ed Hustady Gymnasium and Dennis Rader Court for this varsity matchup between the Tigers from Dupo and your Jabril Hawks. Ooh, we just celebrated senior night. The three seniors for Jabot, Alyssa Grither, Autumn Ramey, and Sarah Ann Steibel being recognized before the game. And we're just into the pregame warm-ups. So we've got about, I'd say, 12, 13 minutes before the game gets underway. So we're just going to let you enjoy the music of the Jabot Pep Band under the direction of Mr. Scott Rubel.
Welcome to Father Red Husky Gymnasium, Dennis Reader Court. This is Todd Bisk, your voice of Jabot Sports Online, bringing you this varsity girls basketball match between the Lady Tigers from Dubois High School and the Lady Hawks from Jabot. Jabot came away with the victory in the JV game, 34-28. Let's see if they can do the same here. Dupo comes away with the opening tip. Curtis with the ball for, for Dupo. Prater now with the ball. 
Ball stolen by Small. She drives to the basketball, knocked away from her, but she's able to keep it. <laughs> Kaylin Small with the ball, loses her footing. Autumn Ramey picks it up, gets it to Grither. Now back to Small. Grither in the corner. Penetrates a little bit, then brings it back out to Small. Puts it up off the glass and good! <laughs> Kaylin Small with the first basket of the game. And Jabal out to a 2-0 lead. There you go, right back inside to Octavia Heidelberg. Fall on Dupo was on Cayenne Prater, her first, team's first. Refs getting into position. They go all the way up top to Tyser. She gives it to Small. Small puts up a three. Good! Kevin Small with a three pointer. Dupo with the ball. Curtis gave it to Prater. Now they swing it around to Francis. Dupo gets the rebound. They're fouled on that shot attempt. Lewis goes to the line. Foul on Autumn Ramey. Her first. Alexia Lewis goes to the line shooting two for Dupo. First one rattles out. Second one, rims out, but Heidelberg there for the rebound. No good on her putback attempt, but they get the rebound again. Heidelberg with the turnaround from about 10 foot is good. Dupont with a little full court press. Dupont has to call a timeout to avoid the 10 second call. Jabot. No pressure on Jabot as they bring the ball across half court. Kaylin Small with the ball. Goes to Grither. Kaylin Small puts up the three. Too strong. Gets her own rebound. Puts it up. No good. Tap out. Alexi Alexis Curtis comes away with the ball for Dupo. Goes coast to coast. Puts it up. No good. But Dupo there for the rebound. Put back. No good. Kaylin Small with the rebound for Jabot. Tough defense there. <laughs> Crossover dribble by Small. Puts up the shot off the glass, won't go. Heidelberg comes away with the rebound for Dupo. Quickly down the court, they have numbers. Shot won't go, Heidelberg with the rebound, puts it back up. Tyser comes away with the rebound for Jabot. Tough defense there by Curtis. But they get the ball to Small and slow it down. Gives it back across to Tyser. Tyser puts up the three, short. Ramey unable to handle the rebound. And the ball goes over to Dupo. Apologies, Dupo. Oh, oh, never mind. A number wrong on my sheet, but I've got it corrected now. Curtis with the ball. Back and forth. Now they go to Francis. She's trapped in the corner by Schmall. That's Small, sorry. 
able to get it to Curtis. Now they go inside to Hottelberg, then to Curtis. Back inside to Heidelberg, partially blocked by Jabal. But Kyan Prater was there for the rebound and puts it in for, for Dupo, and they've got a 6-5 lead. Kalen Small with the ball, breaks the press. Drives to the basket, scoop up and under no good, rebound Heidelberg. Curtis for three for Dupo. Short, Heidelberg with the rebound. Won't go, rebound by Ramey. Gives it to Tyson, the ball swatted away by Dupo. She is swarmed on the court. Tie up, the ball will remain with Jabot. Time out on the floor. It'll be Jabot Ball when we come back. Check, check, check. There we go. Sorry if the audio was a little high prior to this. I've adjusted the levels. Hopefully that'll be a little better for you. Good to see the super fans out here in support of the Jabot Seniors on Senior Night. And we're about ready to get started. 6-5 lead for the Tigers. 3.42 to go in the first quarter. Kalen Small brings the ball down for Jabelle. Swings it over to Bree Balders for three. No good. Rebound knocked out of bounds by Groman. Jabelle coach can't believe the call. What is Dupo ball. Alexis Curtis goes all the way down. They feed it inside to Heidelberg. No good. Rebound, Roman. Camille Groman with the ball. Tapped away from her. Dupo comes away with it. Curtis gives it to Lewis. Try to go inside to Heidelberg. Ball stolen by Small. She's being chased down the court. Puts it up off the glass. Won't go. Rebound to Curtis. Curtis now with the ball. Gives it up. Ball stolen on and that pass from Prater. They get it to Small. <laughs> little scoop shot up it in. And the foul for Kalen Small. Free throw, no good. Shot no good for Dupo. Rebound to Libby Mesh. Gets it quickly up to Kalen Small. Now to Tyser. Now inside to Mesh. Back outside to Groman. Now to Baldridge. She's fouled on the drive. That foul on Kyan Prater. That'll be her second foul. 13 foul on Dupo. Three Baldridge now with the ball for Jabot. They go inside to Mesh. She tries to pass. It was swatted away. Goes back to Baldridge for three. No good. Rebound to Curtis for Dupo. Curtis with the ball. Gives it off to Prater. Now back to Curtis. Three point attempt by Lewis. No good. Rebound to Groman. Gets it to Small. Nobody on her. Fast break. Heidelberg runs back. Able to get the block. And grab the ball. Good hustle on defense by Heidelberg. 
Curtis now with the ball for Dupo. Gives it to Lewis. Three-pointer, too strong. Rebound to Mesh, gives it to Small. Chabot does not have numbers, so Small takes the three-pointer. No good. Battle for the rebound. Off Jabot. It'll be Dupo ball. Sorry, off Dupo. It'll be Jabot ball. 7-6 lead, 119 to go first quarter. Libby Mesh inbounds it to Small. Swings it around to Ballbridge with a sweet pass. Small takes the three. No good. Mesh comes away with the rebound. Triple teamed, and she is fouled. Foul on Octavia Heidelberg. It'll be Jabot Ball underneath the net. That's the fourth team foul on Dupo. They go inside the mesh. Back up top to Tyson for three. Good! Maya <laughs> Tyson with the three point basket from the top of the key. Ten six lead for the Hawks. They swing across court to Curtis. Try to go inside to Heidelberg. She finds the open player. Ball won't go. Heidelberg gets the rebound, puts it up and in. They found Woods wide open. Baldridge with the ball now for Jabot. Gives it back to Small. See if Jabot tries to hold the ball for the final shot of the first quarter. 20 seconds to go. Coach yelling one shot. They give it to Baldridge, puts it up. She's fouled on the three-point attempt. She'll be shooting three. 12.1 to go. Bree Baldridge to the line. With three free throws. That foul on Octavia Heidelberg, her second. 15 foul. First of three for Baldridge. No good. Second free throw. That one's good. One more coming for Bree Baldridge. It's good. Three Baldridge hits two out of three for Jabot. They've got a four-point lead. Five seconds to go. Curtis with the ball. Throws it out of bounds. Turnover to Jabot. Camille Groman with the ball. Puts it up with the buzzer. <laughs> Well, the baseball pitch doesn't go in. <laughs> Almost got that off the glass, though. And at the end of one, it's the Jabot Hawks 12. The Lady Tigers from Dupo 8. Unofficially leading the way, I've got Kaylin Small with 7 points. Maya Tyson with 3. Bray Baldridge with 2 for Jabot. Octavia Heidelberg with 6 for Dupo. Kyan Prater with 2. It'll be Dupro Ball to begin the second quarter. Let's 
Hardest with the ball. Gave it over to Woods. Now Woods back up to Francis, to Woods. Swing it around in the corner, back to Woods. Now gives it back Francis, top of the key. Now it's Lewis, three-pointer, short. Rebound goes to Maya Tyser. Hands it off to Small, who brings the ball across half court. Gives it to Baldridge, three-point attempt. Good! Three Baldridge on the assist from Kalen Small. Chabot extends the lead to seven. Chabot's leading scorer, sorry, Dupo's leading scorer. Heidelberg on the bench with two fouls. Tiana Burris into the game for her. They give it to Lewis. Ball stolen by Small. One-on-one, -on -one, left-handed, scoop shot, won't go, rebound it to Burris. Lewis brings it down. Fouled on the floor before the travel. Foul called on Camille Groman, her first, second team foul on Jabot. And they're sending Lewis to the line, shooting two. First free throw from Lewis is good. Second free throw from Lewis, good. She knocks them both down. Five point lead for the Hawks. Fall on the floor. That foul called on Caitlin Woods, her first team six on Dupo. Small with the ball, gives it back to Baldridge with a little no-look pass. Now to Tyser, top of the key, inside the mesh. Turnaround, no good. Lewis with the ball for Dupo. They give it to Woods for three. Sorry, she's had one toe on the three-point line, so that's a two-point basket. Small gives it up to Baldridge, three-pointer. No good. Battle for the rebound. Dupo comes away with it. Curtis with the ball. Gets it to Prater, now back to Curtis, now to Lewis, now to Woods. Started there by Baldridge. They swing it around to Curtis, try to go inside to Burris. She's able to spin away from Camille Goldman and lay it in. Dupo's cut that seven point lead to one. Tyson with the ball. Gets up to Goldman. Able to somehow get it to Baldridge. Libby Mesh swings it over to Small. Fakes the three pointer. Little running jumper, no good. Rebound to Burris. Curtis now brings the ball down court for Dupa. Weaves between the defenders. Ball knocked away from her. Goes off of Curtis out of bounds. It'll be Jabot Ball. Lots of substitutions for both teams. Emma Schmidt into the game for the first time for Jabot. Autumn Ramey back in. Alyssa Grither back in for Jabot as well. Small with the ball. Gets it all the way down to Emma Schmidt to break up the press, and they give it to Grither. Grither gives it to Small. Heidelberg back into the game for Dupo. Playing with two fouls. Small swings it across to Grither. Gives it back to Small, top of the key. Jabot being patient with the offense. Now to Grither. Ball goes off her knee, but right to Kaylin Small. She drives baseline, puts a floater up off her Heidelberg. Won't go. Rebound went to Curtis. She gives it to Lewis on the fast break. Spins around the Jabot defender, lays it up and in, and Dupont's taking the lead. 8-0 run for the Tigers from Dupont. 
Have them in the lead, 16-15. Dangerous pass there. Goes off of Heidelberg and out of bounds. It'll stage a bow ball. Eight zero run in the last couple of minutes for Dupo after Jabot went out to a seven point lead. Emma Schmidt for three, no good. Rebound to Woods for Dupo. Guarded by Small, gets it to Curtis. They swing it around to Francis. And now, basket by Prater. 10-0 lead, 10, sorry, 10-0 run. And Grigger couldn't hold that back foot down. It's called for the walk. Turnover goes back to Dupo. Timeout on the floor. Dupo with a 10-0 run. Now have a three-point lead. 3.55 to go in the first half. Good to see the super fans supporting the cheerleaders there, joining in in the cheer. It'll be Dupo ball underneath the Jabot basket. Conclusion the timeout here. And both teams back under the court now. Dupo inbounds, three point attempt there, no good. But on the air ball, Cayenne Prater was right there to extend the run for Dupo. Emma Schmidt with the shot, no good. Sarah Ann Stiebel with the rebound. She's fouled from behind. That's the seventh foul on Dupo. Sarah Ann Stiebel will go to the line, shooting one and one. Foul on Kaylin Woods. That's her second. So Sarah Ann Stiebel at the line. See if she can snap this 12-0 run by the Tigers. First one is up, short, no good. Dupo comes away with the rebound, but they give the ball right back to Jabot. Kalen Small with it. Drives down the lane, scoop shot up the head, and ball on Kalen Small. Finally breaks the 12-0 run. Jabot trailing by three, 3.15 to go, first half. Curtis with the ball for Dupo. Give and go, back to Curtis, now back outside to Francis. They go to Woods, tries to drive baseline, cut off, back to Francis, back to Woods, again tries to drive baseline. Alyssa Grither will be called for that foul as she drove along the baseline. Foul was on the floor, that's only the third team foul on Jabot. Jabot foul number two, Alyssa Grither. Alexia Lewis back into the game. They go inside to Heidelberg. She was fouled on that shot attempt. Shot was no good. She'll go to the line shooting two. Foul on Sarah Ann Steibel, her first team's fourth. Happy 
first one from Heidelberg, no good. Second one from Heidelberg, no good. Rebound to Chabot, out of Ramey. Is tied up, but the possession arrow stays with Dupo. Autumn Ramey looked like she had position, but Dupo able to tie that ball up, and possession arrow was in their favor. They go inside to Heidelberg, up off the glass, no good. Ball knocked out of bounds by Gritter, it'll still stay Tiger basketball. Curtis puts up the three-pointer, too strong. Gritter came in there with the rebound, had it taken away by Lewis. Nice pass by Heidelberg to Gritter, who puts it in for two. Dupo with lots of chances on that possession. Pass by Small, trying to find Schmidt underneath the basket. Stolen by Dupo. That shot no good. Kaylin Small comes away with the rebound, throws it off the Dupo defender, and it'll be Jabal basketball. Jabal inbounds to Emma Schmidt. Some loose pressure from Dupo. Brither with the ball, brings it across half court. Heidelberg blocks the pass out of bounds, but goes down hard. And she's okay. Chabot in bounds, far sideline. Kaylin Small now with the ball. Guarded by Curtis. Puts up the three pointer. No good. Rebound Heidelberg. Gets it out to Lewis. Small cuts her off. Blocked by Small. <laughs> Lewis tried to go up off the glass. Small says no way. Swats the ball out of bounds. Curtis for three. Good. <laughs> Chabot breaks the press, gets it to Schmidt, puts up the three-pointer, no good. Rebound to Curtis. Lewis comes away with the ball. Goes inside to Heidelberg, off of the glass, and in. Chabot at 15-8, it has been all Dupo since then. 19-2 run, Kalen Small with the ball for the running floater for Chabot. Two Now Curtis with the ball. Still 19-4 run for the Lady Tigers in this second quarter. And they've got an eight point lead. 45 seconds to go, first half. Curtis puts up the three, no good. Rebound goes to Lewis. Ball tapped away by Jabot, so no over and back. Francis with the ball, gives it to Lewis, back to Francis. Puts up the three, no good. Rebound goes to Heidelberg. Backs away in, puts it up off the glass, no good. Rebound goes to Jabot. Ball knocked out of bounds. Sorry, no touch on that one. That will be Lady Tiger basketball. I went right through the hands of Kalen Small and out of bounds, so it will be Tiger basketball with 17.7 to go, up by eight. They get it into Curtis. Curtis, guided by Tyser, Jabot in the zone. Small with the ball, they swing it around now to Francis. 
Francis with the ball. Hot pass. Too hard to handle. They're trying to find Curtis under the basket. She's unable to get a shot off. And that is the first half. It ends at the end of the first half. It's the Dupo Lady Tigers 27, the Jabot Lady Hawks 19. For Dupo, Cayenne Prater and Octavia Heidelberg leading the way with eight points each. Alexa Lewis with four. Alexis Curtis with three. Kaylin Woods and Tiana Burris with two each. Fox, Kaylin Small with 11, Bree Baldridge with 5, and Maya Tyser with 3. And now we're going to let you enjoy the music of the Jabot Pep Band under the direction of Mr. Scott Rupo.
Just about four and a half minutes to go here at halftime. Jabot players back out onto the court, warming up. That was the Jabot Pep Band underneath the direction of Mr. Scott Ruppel with the halftime entertainment. And it's Jabot Ball to start the second half. Grither with the ball, gives it to Small. They go all the way across the court to Tyson for three, no good. Grither with the rebound, gives it out to Small. She puts up a three-pointer, spins out. Battle for the rebound, Jabot gets it. Grither with the ball, puts a little five-footer up off the glass, and good. <laughs> Tupo brings the ball down. They go to Heidelberg. Now outside to Prater. Back to Francis. Francis with the ball. Picks up her dribble. Gets it across to Curtis. Now up top to Lewis. 
Lewis goes to Francis, to Curtis, back to Francis. Trying to get inside to Heidelberg. And they're able to do so. She puts it up off the glass and in. I don't have any height information on the players, but clearly Heidelberg, tallest player out there on the court. Dupo continues to try to just feed her inside. Small drives the lane, gives it to Tyser, sorry, to Rither, now to Tyser. Goes inside. Sarah and Steibel stop by Heidelberg. They bring it back outside, reset the offense. Kalen Small goes inside to Ramey. Back outside to Small, puts up the three-pointer. Good! <laughs> 14 points now for Kalen Small. Jabot chipping away at that Dupo lead. Three-pointer right back from Lewis. No good. Small with the rebound for Jabot. Guarded by Heidelberg. Now they back off. Small dribbles up. Dupo in his own defense. Jabot swings the ball. Try to go inside. Sarah and Steibel. Back outside to Grither. Now to Tyser for three from the corner. No good. Ramey with the rebound. Gives it to Small for three. Spins out. Rebound to Dupo. Later with the rebound. They go inside to Heidelberg. And it drops in. Dupo got the ball down quickly. And they got the ball to Heidelberg before Jabot could fully set up their defense. Now Small with the ball. Goes to Tyser. Far corner. Back up to to small. Now back to Tyser in the corner. Drives baseline. Little floater. Too strong. Rebound to Lewis. Lewis drives down. Gives it to Curtis inside the three-point line. Doesn't go. Heidelberg with the rebound. Small with the defense against her, but she's able to go up over her and get it in. 14 for Heidelberg now. Nine-point lead for the Lady Tigers. Small gives it to Tyser for three. Too strong. Ramey battles for the rebound, but Heidelberg able to pull it away. Prater brings the ball down court for the Lady Tigers. Sorry, that's Francis with the ball. Now to Curtis in the far corner, back to Francis. Francis gives it to Lewis. Lewis to Prater. Prater for three. Air ball. Out of bounds. Ball goes over to Jabal. Bunch of substitutions for Jabot. Bald Baldridge into the game. Schmidt into the game. Groman into the game. And Mesh into the game. Kalen Small with the ball. Drives down the lane. Little floater. 12 foot. Won't go. Heidelberg with the rebound. Lewis pushes the ball fast down court. Dribbles around Schmidt. Lays it up and in. Six points for Alexia Lewis. Three-pointer by Small, no good. Rebound goes to Curtis. 11-point lead for the Tigers. Three-pointer, air ball. Goes off Jabot. It'll remain Tiger basketball. Timeout on the floor.
It'll be Dupo basketball when we come back from this timeout. Dupo coaches using every last second of that timeout. <laughs> They've got an 11 point lead led by Octavia Heidelberg with 14 points for the Tigers. They go inside to Lewis, blocked by Jabot. She gets her own rebound, puts it up again, gets her own rebound again, and is fouled. Olivia Lewis, or sorry, Alexia Lewis, will go to the line. Foul called on Camille Groman, her second, team's first foul of the second half. Lewis, first free throw is good. Second free throw by Lewis is good. Thirteen point lead for the Tigers. They get the steal. And they have the ball again. Heidelberg top of the key. Dribbles around Emma Schmidt. Lays it up and in. Steal on the inbound pass. Time out called on the floor. Six quick points for the Tigers. Two free throws. A steal. A layup. And they stole the inbound pass. They got another layup, and it's a 17 point lead for the Lady Tigers over the Lady Hawks here on senior night. Schmidt to inbound for the Hawks. Baldridge with the three pointer has it rim out. Shot looked good, but would not go down. Dupo with the rebound. Curtis with the ball, gives it to Lewis inside to Heidelberg, back to Curtis for three. Good. And Dupo has extended their lead to 20. Kaylin Small with the ball. Gives it to Baldridge. Now to Emma Schmidt, puts up the three-pointer. No good. Rebounded by Libby Nesh. Jabot resets the offense. Baldridge for three. Won't go. Rebound to Curtis. Now they give the ball to Lewis. Heidelberg from the free throw line. Way too strong. Jabot with the rebound. Small with the ball. Little behind the back dribble. And Heidelberg is going to be called for her third foul. <laughs> that would be the best thing that could happen for Jabot right now is for Heidelberg to pick up uh, two more fouls and be out of the game. They go inside to Groman, loses the ball, but gets it back. Now to Mesh. Now to Baldridge for three. No good. Three-pointers not falling for Jabot. Lewis with the ball. Gives it to Curtis. Back outside to Prater. Now to Lewis. Drive center. No look pass. To Woods, who missed the three-pointer. They find Kalen Small. Not able to finish the fast break. Roman's going to be called for her third foul. Kaylin Small with the fast break. Tried to do the reverse. 
but it did not fall. And it's still a 20 point lead for the Tigers. 124 to go in the third quarter. Lewis brings the ball across court. Goes to Woods, now to Curtis, now to Prater. Back up top, Lewis for three. Too strong, gets her own rebound, puts it up and in. Lewis knew that shot was off, went in for the rebound, went right to her, and she was able to put it right back up and get the two-point basket. Ball stolen by Dupa. Curtis in the corner. They swing it around to Prater, now to Lewis. Drives around small, gives it up to Woods. Now to Curtis, puts up a three-pointer. No good. But Dupo gets the rebound. Go inside to Heidelberg, up off the glass, and in. They've doubled up Jabot now, 48-24, 22 seconds to go. Kalen Small up off the glass, won't go, gets her own rebound, but loses it out of bounds. Curtis with the ball. Now for Dupo. 10 seconds to go. Gives it to Woods. Inside to Lewis. They find Boris on the inside. And at the end of three, it's the Dupo Lady Tigers 50, Jabo Lady Hawks 24. the Chabot cheerleaders are coached by Kelly Day, Chabot alumni. <laughs> Super fans having a little fun here on senior night. Curtis with the ball for Dupo. Gives it up to Woods. Now to Lewis, now back to Curtis, guarded by Tyser. Back up top, Prater. Prater gives it to Woods. Inside to Burris, drives. Too strong off the glass. Ball off Alyssa Grither, it'll remain Tiger basketball. They go inside to Heidelberg, just checked into the game, now back outside to Curtis. Resets the offense. Heidelberg, up off the glass and in. That's 20 points for Heidelberg. Kalen Small with the ball for Jabot. Gives it to Grither. Now back to Small. Now to Grither, back to Small. Small drives, finds Autumn Ramey wide open. Too strong. Dupo tries to save the rebound, stepped on the baseline though, it'll remain Jibbo basketball. Grither brings it to Tyser. Back to Grither. And Jibbo resets the offense with Small, top of the key. They swing it around, far side. 
Now back to Tice Earth. They try to go inside to Sarah Ann Steibel. Ball knocked away. Lewis quickly down. Heidelberg at the free throw line finds Lewis wide open underneath the basket. <laughs> Alexia Lewis with 14. Chabot unable to get a shot off, ball stolen. Curtis with the ball, gives it to Lewis, now back to Curtis, guarded by Tyson. They find Heidelberg with the cut, unable to handle the pass, goes out of bounds, it's a turnover to Chabot. Kalen Small brings the ball down court for Chabot. Chabot led by seven in the second quarter at 15-8. Since then, it has been all Dupo. Maya Tyser with the ball. Now gives it back to Small. Puts up a three-pointer. Good! <laughs> Kalen Small with 17 for Chabot. That rebound goes off of Kalen Small. It'll remain Tiger basketball. They give it right into Heidelberg, tries to turn around. She's fouled by Sarah Ann Steibel. She'll go to the line shooting two. Heidelberg misses the front, the first one. <laughs> Super fans with a little alphabet music to help her out. <laughs> Hadley Schneider into the game for Chabot. Heidelberg, second free throw, no good. Rebound. <laughs> Rebound went to Sarah Ann Steibel. Heidelberg just ripped the ball out of her hands. Went up, but there was a foul called. I'm not sure on who. And Steibel down on the court. Let's hope she's okay. Steibel able to come off the court under her own power. It's good to see. Emma Steibel into the game. And it appears the foul was called on Jabot. Not sure who the foul was on. But it'll be Heidelberg going to the line shooting two. Foul was called on Sarah Ann Steibel. Although she was flat on her back on the ground. So I don't know what the foul was, but. First free throw from Heidelberg, no good. the second free throw. She's got 21. It's a 55-27 lead for Dupo. 
errant pass by Grither. Small unable to handle it, goes out of bounds. That's a turnover to Dupo. Curtis with the ball. Gives it up to Francis. Now to Lewis, back to Francis. Now to Prater. Guarded by Grither. Gives it to Curtis. Lewis with the drive. No good. Heidelberg with the rebound. Blocked by Small, but she's going to be called for a foul. Kalen Small's first, first foul, 16 foul. Octavia Heidelberg at the line. This is the first one. And some wholesale substitutions for Dupo. Woods into the game. Taylor into the game. Heidelberg with the second free throw. That one's good. And she'll check out of the game with 22 points. Puts up a three-pointer. It's good. Four three-pointers now for Kaylin Small. 20 points on the night. Two-pointer there by number 24, Maddie Earhart, into the game. 28-point lead for the Tigers. Small with the ball now. Dupo with all reserves in the game. Grither puts up the three. No good. Ball goes off to Bo and out of bounds. Sarah Ann Steibel back into the game. Glad to see she's okay. Three pointer, no good. Rebound, Sarah Ann Steibel. She gives it to Schneider. Gives it to Small. Long three pointer, no good. Rebound goes to Dupo. That was Allison Taylor. She was followed by Sarah Ann Steibel. Sarah Ann That's her fourth foul. Six team fouls now on Jabot. Next one will send Dupo to the line. But we've only got 38 seconds left in this one. Shot there, no good. Griller with the rebound. Throws it out of bounds. Trying to get it to Autumn Ramey. Actually, they... Ruling it stays Jabot Ball. 20 seconds to go. We got a running clock here. Kalen Small with the ball, and this is just about going to do it. We get it to Ramey. Grither for three. No good. Rebound by Steibel. Won't go, but she'll go to the line with 7.6 to go. Let's see if Sarah Ann can get on the score sheet. First one by Steibel. It's good! Second one by Steibel. No good. Steibel gets it, puts it back up. No good. And that is the ball game. Final score, the Lady Tigers from Dupo, 58. And your Jabot, Lady Hawks, 31. For Dupo, Octavia Heidelberg with 22 points leading the way. Alexa Lewis, Alexia Lewis with 14. Kyan Prater with 8. Alexis Curtis with 6. Tiana Burris with 4. And Maddie Earhart and Kaylin Woods with 2 apiece. For Jabot, Kaylin Small leading the way with 20 points. Bree Baldridge with 5. Maya Tyser with 3. Alyssa Grither with 2. And one point for Sarah Ann Steibel.
Congratulations to the Jabot seniors, Alyssa Gritter, Autumn Ramey, and Stara Ann Steibel, an outstanding career. Good luck to them for in the IHSA Regionals, which will be held here at Jabot. This has been Todd Bisk, your voice of Jabot Athletics Online, bringing you Jabot Basketball from Father Ed Hassetti Gymnasium, Dennis Rader Court. Thank you for tuning in, and good night.